Back in 2012, when the London Olympics were about to start, there was a couple articles that ran via CNN, Deadspin, a few other sources. Reddit was all over this one, and that was titled Sex Games and Olympic Village Life. The Olympic Village has been notoriously known as a breeding ground. Plowtown! It is, you can put on any name. Plowtown, Humpville, Hump Days, Wednesday, I can't imagine the first one. Bangkok! <laughs> <laughs> It's the capital of Thailand, Francis. I know, Bangkok. <laughs> All oh, right. Easily amused. So, Francis, uh, in, here's 2012. We're going to get to 2016 in just a second. 2012 distributed 150,000 condoms to athletes. Olympic Village comprises nearly 3,000 apartments housing over 10,000 athletes. And for 17 days, former athlete Chris Akabusi said, for 17 days we were the center of the universe. And all that tension, all that glory leads to humping. <laughs> it just does. Uh, Francis, how many condoms? They, okay, so did I tell you? 150,000 condoms, right, in 2012. How many condoms do you think they're giving out in the 2016 Rio Olympics? I'm going to say me double. Okay, try again. I can tell by your enthusiasm that it's not less than that. because they Three that be is that. company, Francis. 450,000 condoms will be given out uh, to for free do through you, a do clinic. Do you know how many condom balloons you can make? <laughs> 450,000 450, condoms will be distributed for free through a clinic in the, uh, in the Athlete Village as well as vending machines for use by the 10,500, they did get it on back in 2012, <laughs> competitors and staff. Now, there is another problem with this big whole sex in the Olympic Village thing, and that's, uh, again, the huge, huge, notoriously known thing that has to be mentioned every time we do an Olympics clip, is no pregnant woman should be going to the Olympics because of the Zika virus. So yes. the last thing we really need is more people getting pregnant in the Olympic Village. Safe sex quote has been a high priority at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. You can look up so much information of this. Oh, and this is my favorite part. Nearly one quarter of the contraception we made available for feet will, will be female condoms. So it's not just on the, you know, the men. Women got to condom it up wrap too. it up as well. But don't double it up. That's not safe. And that just provides some rubber friction. It's, well, it's also not like, it's not how, it doesn't work. Wow, this is like higher sex chance ed of, Yeah, it is sex ed. Higher don't chance of the kind of breaks. It's not even, it, just don't do it. Can you get like, a banana for me? <laughs> <laughs> just put a garbage bag over it and take some duct tape. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, so I find, friends, I find this fascinating. We did yeah. a, Rick did a clip years ago, four years ago on the sex in the Olympic Village in 2012. And uh, it's going to be the same thing coming in 2016. <laughs> You get it? Do you get it? I didn't think you meant to do that. No, of course I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's rare that we get to talk about the Olympics and have a smile on our face. Like, we've been so depressed it's talking true. about it. It's like, oh, my God, the cesspool that the these people have to swim in, the Zika virus, the people that are getting kicked out of their houses just to, to even allow for this tournament to take place. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. But when we can talk about condoms. We can talk about sex. Yeah. It at least brings us back to the humane side that all these athletes are going to get together and they're right. They will be the center of the universe for that time and they get to go and enjoy themselves without the usual goings on about having to go to a bar and have to chat up girls. Well, there, it's, all it's, the it's amazing because when you look at the Olympic Village, it's, it's kind of like... A, it's almost like a spring break for college yeah. kids. Except like you're competing for like your glory for your nation. Medals are on hand, and, and oh. you become famous so qu like the. Uh, it's not t 15 seconds of fame. It's really like, I want to say, four months of fame. Because, well, like, in the United States, like, Michael Phelps, his name is pretty much synonymous with gold medals. It still somehow also became synonymous with smoking weed. Like, yeah. people forget really quickly about Olympic athletes, which is sad because, He's you know, they compete for four for at least the Summer Olympics, they compete uh, or they train for so, so long. And I think the worst thing about the uh, – one of the worst things I always see in the Olympics is those who get injured, like, right before. Yeah. And devastated. all that goes to waste. But even if they get injured, they still get to go, be in the Olympic Village, and if they want to, they can get it on. <laughs> I was going to say, like, do you think we could just start some random and probably untrue but kind of funny thought of the conspiracy theories going on in there? Maybe they try to – get involved in another to try and hinder their chances. Well, that's what I was... Well, the, Russian, the Russian girl might try and get with the... No offense, hey. I'm not trying to create tension between Russian and Americans. It was just the example. Relax. Maybe the Russian girl sees the American guy. She's like... Tire tells, him out. Tells, like, our friend, I might tire him out. So that he's not going to be good for the 100-meter freestyle tomorrow because me and him are doing a, doing a back-and-forth freestyle tonight. <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing butterfly in bed <laughs> later tonight. Uh, in general, though, Francis, what do you think 450,000 condoms looks like? 
I don't know. I, I'm trying to not think about it. What do you think? 450,000 filled condoms. Also, like? who's sponsoring it? What condoms are they? Uh, Durex, surely. Not tro Trojan? No? Tro come on, you're complimenting the guys too much, though. Trojans. They have all sight. Oh, my God. Did you have sex ed in Scotland? I haven't had sex yet, Jason. No, that makes Why sense. Why do you have to put you're me on a, the you're spot? A, you're a, a pure, pure classic or Christian boy? Cat, both. Both. Wait, I don't know. Is it Jehovah? I'm, I'm not going to get into You're not a Jehovah's I'm Witness. I'm not going to get into this religion cult. Topic about which people can't have sex. Either way, as long as you're wrapping it, it should be good. So as Vince Vaughn would say to Owen Wilson, Jason, wrap it up. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Subscribe, like, favorite to this video. Make Jackson, sure to check us out on Facebook.com slash TYT Sport. There's a video there that blew up thanks to Unilad Football for posting it. It's about the, uh, the five types of FIFA losers that Francis and I... I uh, had a fun time shooting and almost breaking many things in my apartment. The video uh, will be here on YouTube as well, by the way. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's on YouTube as well. Ding, 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 ding. ding.